Georgia Boy 11 recovering after being attacked by three pit bulls. He didn't ask for this. The dogs set upon Justin Gilstrap on Friday as he rode his bike in a Georgia neighborhood. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe to Happy World and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. An 11-year-old Georgia boy is recovering after he was attacked by three dogs on Friday while riding his bike. The attack near Grovetown Ga, a city about 12 miles away from Augusta, sent Justin Gilstrap to the hospital, according to Dular DW News. Justin suffered a torn scalp, bites on his legs, and almost lost one of his ears in the attack. Columbia County deputies told the According to a GoFundMe posted by Justin's mother, Erica Gilstrap, the boy was rushed into emergency surgery and is missing 70% of his scalp. Justin suffered several lacerations and had a wound on his leg that couldn't be closed. Gilstrap said Justin was also running a fever. Justin's body is covered in bruises and he had multiple face lacerations, according to photos posted to the fundraising site. As of Monday night, more than $77,000 was raised of a goal of $100,000 to help pay for his medical expenses. This has truly been a living nightmare, Gilstrap wrote in an update. Justin has undergone multiple surgeries, she said, and wakes up periodically. This morning he woke up and started crying. Gilstrap wrote on Sunday, he was mouthing to us about his bike and his Georgia boots. All of that is replaceable he's not. It was pitiful. I hope he doesn't remember any of this. He didn't ask for this. He was just being a little boy playing outside like all the boys do. He should be at home right now riding his bike. You know, not sedated in a hospital bed. Just kills me, absolutely kills me. My poor baby, she told WRDW News. On Monday, Gilstrap said on Facebook that her son wanted to watch the Georgia Bulldogs take on the TCU Horned Frogs as they battled during the college football playoff national championship. Although he can't watch it, just know he's still rooting for them. Go dogs! Hashtag just in tough, she wrote. Justin's attack was discovered by his 11-year-old cousin, who found him injured and called 911, WRDW News reported. Bert Baker II arrived on scene and allegedly admitted that the dogs were his and later stated they liked to chase people on bicycles, according to a statement by the sheriff's office provided to the Augusta Press. Baker 26 was arrested for reckless conduct on Friday and has since been released on bond, according to DCSC News. The sad thing is we have reported these dogs several times before. Columbia County did nothing. It's sad it took this for them to finally do something. Gilstrap wrote on the fundraising website. Gilstrap told DCSC News she filed her first report on the pit bulls last year and, according to her, other neighbors have also made complaints. The Columbia Board of Commissioners released a statement to DCSC indicating animal services have dealt with the owner and his dogs on prior occasions, but that they were unaware they were aggressive toward humans. After a review of county records, Columbia County Animal Services has responded to various complaints concerning multiple dog issues in the Rolling Meadows subdivision over the last several years. Animal Services has had limited interactions with the owner of these particular dogs in the past and warnings for allowing the dogs to run free were issued, 
Columbia County Animal Services has no record of these dogs being aggressive towards humans until this incident. It's unclear if Baker has an attorney who can comment on his behalf.